This is video number two about all the things you're gonna have to learn to be able to perform at the capacity of senior Android programmer. In this video, I'm going to mention all of the things that are not gonna be asked about in your interview. These are the things I have never been asked about in an Android interview, but they are essential to my everyday work. They are expected of me as a senior Android programmer, yet none have asked me about them. Should they have asked? Should they have not? I don't know. This is the reality of how it is. Between interviewing for a job and interviewing other people at my job, I've been through about 40 of these interviews. I have not been asked about them in detail, but I have been asked, do you know this? Do you know that? And not much further. Chief among those things being version control. You must learn version control. You have to learn Git. But Git is hard. <laughs> Creating a repository, managing a repository, cloning a repository. You have to know this by heart. It's the easiest, most basic common operation while using Git or any version control system so far. How to stage changes, commit them, and then push them to a remote repository. Branching. Merging branches, rebasing, cherry picking from a branch, what exactly you want. Because someone at your company is gonna know about this. There's nothing uglier than having that person be the reference for all your Git problems. Why can't you do it yourself? Eventually you're gonna always have to refer to them. Can you solve my uh, Git? Uh, I have... Uh, Don't do that. Learn it on your own, it's not that difficult. It's kind of difficult, but you can do it. Otherwise, why are you senior? Why? Understanding why conflicts happen, merge conflicts, why do they happen? And how to resolve them. And when it does happen and it is unavoidable in that situation, you need to know how to resolve it. There's not much to it. Tagging releases, versioning them. It's in the same command, but you'll learn that when you research this topic. This is important as well. It's not a subtopic in one cycle of you working on code, staging it, committing it, and then pushing it to the remote repository, and then having a PR be reviewed by someone you know, and then you making the changes. All of these things can be encountered in one day. One day where you, for example, also have to release on that day. You are gonna go down this whole thing, maybe except for creating repository cloning and managing these. These are high level, of course, but these are the nitty gritty that you need to know. You can encounter all of this in one single day. No problem, any day you can do all of this in one go. Collaborating with other developers using pull requests. There are some people who call them merge requests. Those people are insane. Do not listen to such people. They are crazy in their head. They are called pull request. It is a request for the other developer to pull your code and try it, see if it works on their machine, give you a review on it, and then in the end, all of them are gonna be merged, of course. That's implicit. That is the reason why it exists. And it makes sense to call them merge. No, no, they're insane. They are insane. Pull requests, you need to know them. When you want to go back and see when this tip of a branch was updated, how it was worked on, who touched it last, when did it change, so that you can go and track down exactly some change, when it happened, who caused it. This, this, all this stuff that you need to know about this issue that you're having with your repo, you can use the ref log for that. You can reset when you find out what the issue is. You can reset your repository to some period in time. You need to know how the resets work. Reset hard, soft. What's the difference? What's this going to do? Is this destructive or not? This stuff is important. Branching strategies. Are you going to go with just master and you push everything there? Maybe you're alone on the project. Are you going to go with feature branches? You have a master, you have staging, you have develop. What's the difference between all those three? Who gets merged into master in the end? What do each of the branches represent? 
how to keep them in sync. This stuff you need to know as well. And this last one is in red, I ran out of colors. This one is important, but it's kind of on the edge. How to maintain a clean, readable history. Do you wanna squash your commits? Do you wanna not do that? It's kind of an on the edge kind of a topic. You'll get it with time. It's just a style issue, I guess. Wouldn't stress too much of it. The rest of the stuff is very important though.